Hello everyone. Now we will start with our new data migration technique that is LSMW. In the previous videos, we built the full explanation of BDC. Now it's a turn for LSMW. The full form of LSMW is Legacy System Migration Workbench. The full form is itself suggesting we will migrate the legacy system data into SAP. With the help of LSMW also, you can transfer the data from non-SAP system to SAP system. You can transfer that data from legacy system to SAP system. Now, whenever we will talk about LSMW, we will always use the term that it is a part of a BAP workbench or it is a ABAP workbench tool. Why? Why we are saying this? I will go for firstly meaning of a BAP workbench. What is a BAP workbench? It is a collection of a BAP tools. Suppose SC11 is a tool for data dictionary. SC38 is a tool for program. Similarly, LSMW is a tool for LSMW. Whenever you want to access LSMW, you can use the transaction code or tool LSMW. Whenever we are combining all these tools or whenever we are combining all these transaction codes, the one term is called as a BAP workbench. That's why we are saying LSMW is a part of a BAP workbench because we have a separate tool or transaction code available and that transaction code is LSMW. Now, LSMW best fit for master data. Whenever you want to migrate the master data, master data means you want to migrate, suppose material master, you want to migrate, suppose client master, always, always LSMW is preferable. Why LSMW is preferable? Because whenever we want to upload master data, very less code is required or no code required at all. So whenever you think that this part of data migration, we can done without any coding or very less code required, always, always prefer LSMW. That's why LSMW is always LSMW technique or tool is always preferred by the functional people rather than the technical people. Technical people will prefer BDC or BAPI because we have to write the code. But functional people always, always prefer LSMW. And whenever some data migration, we can think, yes, this part of data migration, we can achieve without any coding or very less code required, always, always prefer LSMW. That is the best, best way. Now, if we talk about the major difference between a BDC and LSMW, LSMW is for the functional consultants, which does not require much coding. Whenever we will go for LSMW, you can understand in that way also. Whenever very less code required, always prefer LSMW. And LSMW is always preferred by functional people and BDC is always, always preferred by technical people whenever we are achieving the requirement through code. So this is the basic difference and major difference between LSMW and BDC. If you think this data migration we can achieve without any code or very less code, always prefer LSMW. If you think no, 
in this data migration we require we need to write the code then always prefer bdc lsmw most suitable for functional people and bdc is preferred by the technical people now whenever we will go for lsmw we should understand the meaning of three things what are those three things project sub project an object important terminology because these are the three things we will always create in lsmw project sub project and object we will understand the meaning of these three terminology what is project what is sub project and what is object suppose i am saying we have a customer abc and we want to migrate the customer data customer data if we want to migrate the data of the customer into sap suppose customer provided the material master data customer provided the client master data and we want to migrate this data into sap and we will use the tool or technique lsmw we will use lsmw technique to migrate the material master and client master data into sap we know if we want to create the materials mm01 is the transaction code if we want to change the materials mm02 is the transaction code if we want to create the client xd01 is the transaction code if we want to change the client xt02 is the transaction code we will understand based upon this what is the meaning of project sub project and object suppose i will give the name to the project as suppose data migration suppose i gave the name to the project as data migration now under this suppose i am creating a sub project suppose i am giving the sub project name as suppose mat upload we will upload the materials now i will go for object suppose firstly we will create the materials so i will write mat create or you can understand in a way we will use mm01 transaction code here so this is the way how i can give sub project project sub project and object suppose now materials created into sap we migrated the materials into sap suppose we want to change the materials now in that case what we will do our project is same our sub project is same but now what is the object we are going for now material change and what is the transaction code for material change mm02 now you can see in one sub project we are going for multiple object one time object mat create one time object mat change suppose i want to migrate the client master data so our project is same our project is same suppose i will give the sub project name as now suppose client upload and what is the object name under that client create and what is the transaction code for client create is xt01 now suppose clients migrated into sap and we want to change the clients now suppose if i am creating a lsmw for the same then in that case how i can understand project same sub project same now what is the object name client change and i will give xt02 now you can understand in a way one project has multiple sub project what is first sub project mat upload what is second sub project client upload 
एंड इन वन सब प्रोजेक्ट वी हैव मल्टीपल ऑब्जेक्ट वन सब प्रोजेक्ट वट इज द फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएशन ऑफ मेटीरियल वट इज द सेकेंड ऑब्जेक्ट चेंज ऑफ मेटीरियल वट इज द वट इज अंडर सी एल एन टी अपलोड सब प्रोजेक्ट वन टाइम क्लाइंट क्रिएट वन टाइम क्लाइंट चेंज ऑब्जेक्ट so this is the way how we can give the project sub project and object name so one project have multiple sub projects you can give multiple sub project and one sub project can have multiple object so if i will go for the theory of these three terminology project can have multiple sub project which we can assign to a project sub project can have any number of object if in the current scenario we took two sub project one time mat upload one time client upload and what is object a object is a business object itself means we want to migrate material we want to migrate client means we want to create the material we want to change the material we want to create the client we want to change the client so these all are the object and the object we are always assigning to a sub project so one sub project can have any number of unlimited number of object so whenever we are going for lsmw we always have to create three things project sub project and object now we will go for last point in this video to cover the last point i will go for transaction code lsmw this is the screen of lsmw and what is the last point we are covering we can export and import a lsmw what is the meaning of this it means if you have a lsmw in one system and you want to use the same lsmw in another system export from this system and import in another system this is the very good feature available in lsmw suppose if i will show you the practical how you can go for export and import you can go to transaction code lsmw suppose you want to use this lsmw in another system so simply go for extras export project okay now you can simply simply click on to export button suppose i am saving this lsmw on my desktop and you can see i exported the lsmw on the desktop we have project name we have sub project name we have object name everything is available project name sub project object name now if you want to use the lsmw in another system so what you can simply do suppose you can simply go to lsmw i do not have other system so i will show you in this system itself how you can import so you can simply go for extras and there is a option to import the project very good feature available you can export and you can import the lsmw in another system so what is the summary in this video lsmw is a is a data migration technique which is used to migrate the data from legacy to sap whenever you are achieving or whenever you can achieve the requirement without any code or with very less code always prefer lsmw the difference between vdc and lsmw is vdc is preferred by technical people and lsmw is preferred by functional people whenever you are going for lsmw you have to create project sub project and object one project can have multiple sub project and one sub project can have unlimited number of object you can export and import a lsmw the main benefit of export and import is 
that you can use a LSMW in another system. In the next video, we will start with the practical part of LSMW. Thank you.